show you how to handle test boxes using robot framework so let's to write from here we have to create a test cases so i'm creating a test case name as handle text box so that we can easily remember it yeah before proceeding further we have to import library so we just have to write selenium library uh, click on library write selenium library and click ok and our library will be added for for this test suit so this is useful when we are importing or using keywords associated with selenium and right now we are going to automate some website or a, a text box so that we need that keywords to be imported so for using this we have to write or import selenium library so let's jump to this test case from here you can see it this website contains two text boxes how we can handle it in real life let's understand it for handling this test cases we need to or the text boxes we need to just open the browser so for opening the browser we have to write it here browser open browser and the the url so here i am adding url and on which browser i am opening this so in chrome now next part is the text boxes here i have to write something so that username and password and when i'm clicking on login this should log in in to my main page so how we can do that doing with automation road framework right click on this and inspect the element once you click on the inspect element this will be open now you can handle it in three ways first with id you can see here see it here id name and third method for using x bar so i will show you all three methods of handling your text box so here you need to enter input text and let's say I'm this time I'm using ID so my ID is username so I'm writing here ID equal to username and the value value is it means the data data is my Maria I'm entering here the value second is this text box again let's see this time i am using name so that is the second method of handling this text box or entering value using these keywords so i am copying the name field so same here input text name equal to password now you can see here name is password so this is the value and this is the attributes of input type so id name required classes these are the attributes and the value of these attributes are defined in between double quotes now if i want to click on login i need to set click button and this time we have to use xpath but i am not looking forward to do the xpath of this i will definitely going to show you the xpath of this one and the password i did not provided it so let me add here So I don't want to do the login because I'm explaining here how to handle text boxes. Let's add some sleep time so that you can 
use it or see the result otherwise it is too fast to run and close the browser now i've covered id and name here let's run it first save this and run the execution now you can see it open enter the value and wait for three seconds and close the browser so this is how it is working in two methods one with id second one with name and now let's use xpath for using xpath we have to create a variable for this because or we can directly use it here as well so just inspect the element and right click on this click on copy and here copy xpath now write the xpath here xpath colon and the value of this xpath that is the third method of handling our input text or text boxes let's run it we'll again get same result that is passed Open the browser, enter the details and wait it for 3 seconds and now our execution is completed. So this is how we can handle our test boxes in different scenarios. Either we can use it ID or name and third one is using XPath. So that's all about handling test boxes in robot framework. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.